All right, guys, um, the injuries from today. Um, K1 had knee um, slash shin returned. Trent Williams, elbow returned. Um, Jeff Wilson had a stinger. He returned. School had a knee. He returned. Jordan Willis, ankle, did not return. Go ahead. Hey, Kyle, uh, congratulations. And uh, I guess I want to start with the defense. It really seemed like they were up for the challenge and, and did so without so many starters uh, able to play in the game. Yeah, they had an unbelievable game. Um, they kept them contained most of the game. That was our biggest challenge. You know, we felt like um, that's what got away from us in week one the first time we played them. You know, we kept them contained most of the game, and he got away there in the fourth quarter. And um, he definitely did it sometimes today, which he's always going to. Um, but, you know, I thought our defense, you know, take away those fourth down conversions, which Kyler is extremely hard to stop on those, but take those away. Um, it was a hell of a game. Hey, Kyle, I know you referred to it earlier this week, just all TJ has been through over the last year. Uh, just after the game, him getting the win, what was your impression of how much it meant to him, and also how do you think he played today? I think CJ played awesome. Um, I thought he made some plays in the pass game. He did a good job on the zone reads. Um, I'm not sure how many we called, but he made all his decision making was perfect on it. When he did pull it, he got a number of plays. Um, just his leadership out there, the way the guys gravitated to him. I mean, you could feel it during the week at practice. I mean, he came in on Wednesday um, when he start, first got his reps, just so ready to go. Um, you know, I, th I think you could tell how hard they played for him, too. And I was very impressed with CJ and I'm very happy for him today. And Kyle, what did you say about the, the team that was able to execute your game plans, I'm assuming, as well as you and Robert wanted? but also just the energy with which they played for a team that was eliminated from the playoff week just six days ago. What does it say about them uh, that they came out and, and played with such fire and passion? Um, I mean, it's kind of what I told them. I mean, I think we got a special group of guys. I mean, I felt that strongly last year um, after the Super Bowl. I felt that strongly this year in training camp. Um, you know, our record isn't well, – we're not proud of our record. You know, we'd love to be better. Um, but that doesn't tell the story of who these guys are. I mean, just what they've been through all year and that um, they give everything they have um, every game day. Um, there's a number of guys today who are battling a long year of stuff, um, who are worn down and uh, got a lot of injuries they're dealing with. You can see how many guys went out today, um, but you can also see how many guys returned. And just this league is tough. And uh, if you're a weak-minded person and not made of the right stuff, plenty of guys would have tapped out today. And we didn't have one person. And um, I love those guys. Can't say much uh, enough about them. And that's why we were able to pull off a special win today. You mentioned the guys who've been battling this stuff all year. I think K1 Williams probably fits into that category. And he had to leave, leave the game a couple of times today. And yet, he seemed to be everywhere um, you know, throughout the game. You know, just. Talk about um, his effort and, and what he was sort of dealing with on the sideline that maybe we didn't didn't see. Oh yeah, I mean K1's been on all year with his ankle. It took a while to get back for him. Um, he played he's played such a good game last week versus Dallas. Um, he's been trying to get out there for just these last three. Um, and then I you know I think he got hit on the calf there on that one hit that he had. It was a, I saw it live. It was a draw. You could tell how hard it was for him to get up. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but some type of con contusion on his calf and. He, you know, right when I saw that, I thought for sure we want to get him back. Uh, but he worked so hard on the sidelines, trying to get the tightness out, able to go, and uh, he got out there and competed his ass off. And I, mean, I saw what you saw. I mean, K one's a shark. <laughs> That's why everyone calls him that on our team. And it would have been tough to win without him. And um, just glad he's on our team. Hey, Kyle, you got guys have obviously gotten you know perform great performances by guys like Kerry Hyder and, and everything, but you know, um, you know the lack of loss of talent and I think the defense is still ranked fifth in the NFL in terms of day. Um, what does it say about uh, I guess the job Robert Saul has done, and have you figured out your next defensive coordinator? Um, no, it's I mean it says a lot about him. I mean, the the injuries we've had throughout the year, being able to adjust. Um, just where we've come here in these three years, um, you know, Sala was ready for this year big time. Um, we've been through almost every situation in our four years. Um, and for our defense to play at the level that they have throughout this all says a ton about him, um, a ton about his staff, um, and a ton about all those players. Because, um, like I said earlier, I mean, you, 
we didn't have many guys left in terms of who you're deciding to dress and things like that and who you're trying to play because we're down to the you know really final 47 48 and you lose one other guy in, in these games it's tough um, but our guys didn't tap out and they played for us they played for him they played for each other um, as I keep saying I hope uh, hope I don't lose so um, but we got a bunch of good coaches on the staff and uh, we'll decide that here and I um, guess we got about eight days left so we'll see how it ends up Um, I mean, yeah, everyone sees on the field what he means to us, uh, how good of a player he is in the run game and the pass game. Um, just having Kittle at practice is different. Um, we have we have guys like that that um, affect our team that way. I mean, that's how our, when Debo's out there, our team's very similar. It's different. Just having Jimmy out of practice this week in his uniform, being a part of it, um, there's a different buzz in the air. Um, when you lose a lot of those guys, it's tough. I mean, guys come in, they step it up, they give all they can. Um, but the in inspiration of guys who've done it before and who are at the top of their game. And um, Kittle, you know, we knew just getting him a part of us, dressing him out today would, would be able to help a ton. Um, but just what able, he was able to do even statistically in the past game and um, always in the run game, it's um, can't say enough about um, George. Uh, how surprised and frustrated were you with um, with not being able to get some of those kicks made from, from Robbie? And uh, I know it's a one-game sample, and, and he's been very good for you guys, but um, just given the, the decision on his contract uh, option for, for next year coming up this week, does that in, does his performance today impact that decision at all? No. I mean, you got to look at the body of work with Robbie, and Robbie's been unbelievable since he's been here for us, and he's had an unbelievable year this year. Um, yeah, it was tough on those situations, and um, Robbie will be harder on himself than anyone. Um, but no, he, he's played too much football um, in his career, and he's played too much football for us to let one game um, decide on who he is. Kyle, looking at a Keller's performance today and kind of the ups and downs he's had this season, even to just get on the field, what does it say about him? that he has been able to get back out there and perform at a pretty high level today. Uh, the, um, I mean, what, uh, the ups and downs that Kello's been through this year and, you know, the way he's been playing the last two weeks, the way he played today, um, says a lot about the guy. Um, you know, I, I, I was hard on him at the beginning of this year, I thought for good reasons. Um, and Kello didn't really shy away from it. Lost his job, lost the backup job, wasn't able to dress um, for some special teams issues. And um, what was really cool about it, once all that stuff happens, is how he, re how, how he reacted. I uh, didn't pout. Um, you know, I know he went into I know he went into high tower one day, went into Sala. It's like, hey, I know I'm struggling, but just tell me what to focus on and get better. And you know, over the second half of the season, the work he's put in in the weight room with um, Dustin Perry and our strength coaches, um, going out there and practice and really bringing himself back when he was out. Um, and that's what made us all start believing again because you know, we Akel's done some real good things for us this year, and he started out a tough way and. What he started doing in practice when it was scout team and working out, it got him to this moment. And then we had a few guys get hurt, so he got his opportunity again. And because of the way he handled himself when adversity struck, that's why he was ready for this opportunity. And he, he helped us last week, helped us big time win a game today, and that'll help him in his career too. Kyle, you guys are out got eight checks for 48 yards. Jason Brett pretty much was a nice player on him all game, just by the way the Cardinals play. How impressive have you been with Brett just all season and with what, how he played today? I, I, I love Jason. Um, the, the intensity he practices with, the way he plays, um, that's why our whole team was pulling for him all last year. That's why um, right when he started to get going and he would get injured again, um, how much – how much it hurt the team watching him. I mean, guys really believe in this guy and they know how much it means to him. And that's why we wanted him back here so bad. And he got his opportunities. And once he got healthy and a couple guys went down and he hasn't looked back. I and mean, he's played at a very high level throughout the year. Um, today, I mean, that play down in the end zone, um, having one of the best receivers, if not the best on him, um, where he got his hands on it. And Jason just competing his ass off to get that ball out um, to save us some points. It's, um, and Jason's been great and pumped he's on our team. Hey, Kyle, they said in the broadcast a couple times that you had a more conservative uh, game plan. I, if that's accurate, I, I assume was that a function of just trying to limit your uh, turnovers and, and just give your, give your guys a better chance? Um, no, I, 
I don't think so. It wasn't, I mean, I think we ran for seven yards of carry, so when you do that, you keep going. Um, but I, I wouldn't say it was conservative. To me, it was not much different than what I try to do every week. Try to stay balanced, and you see how the third down comes. But um, when you're running the ball like that, uh, we didn't need as many big plays in the pass game, but we definitely needed some big plays to win. And when we took those shots, um, I know CJ hung in there, took two big shots to Kittle down the field that I think both led to points um, with two explosives. And um, But no, I felt like I called it like I always try to.